So the World Economic Forum had their annual conference in Davos on episode 132. We talked about a few interesting interviews with AI leaders. On this episode, we wanted to deep dive in a more uh, formal way into one of them from Anthropic CEO Dario Amade, because he made some pretty uh, interesting predictions about AI's trajectory. He suggested that AI could surpass human intelligence by 2027. And of course, people started then quoting and asking questions of other AI leaders to respond to this. He actually revealed during this interview that his confidence about rapid AI advancement increased dramatically in recent months. While he previously maintained uncertainty about the timeline for transformative AI, he now says he is, quote, relatively confident that within the next two to three years, we will see AI systems that are, quote, better than us at almost everything. He also talked a bit about Anthropic's growth, um, their fundraising, and their immediate roadmap, indicating significant updates coming to Claude within coming months. But really, it's this 2027 prediction, Paul, that kind of got everyone's attention because he also said society is going to need to fundamentally rethink how we organize our economy as AI becomes increasingly capable. He said there are a lot of assumptions we made when humans were the most intelligent species on the planet that are going to be invalidated by what's happening with AI. So, Paul, like, can you maybe walk us through what is he seeing that's leading him generally to make this prediction and then even further accelerate his timeline? Yeah, I don't, it's interesting. I don't think he's accelerating his timeline really. Like it, okay. it's, so if you go back to, when was this? We, we talked about the Machines of Loving Grace article he wrote in, let's so say this is uh, October 15th, 2024, episode 119 of the podcast. Mm -hmm. So he had published this Machines of Loving Grace uh, article where he had sort of like radical predictions for AI. And at that time he talked about that what he calls powerful AI, he doesn't like AGI. Uh, he thinks it's kind of like a marketing term. So he refers to it as powerful. But he had said then, like he thought as early as 2026. So I don't, I don't know. He doesn't do many interviews. So I think some, in some ways, this may just, it, it may have gotten a lot of run because he was out at Davos, World Economic Forum doing, doing these interviews. Mm. But he said like, could be 2026, for the purpose of this essay, you know, we're looking at maybe five to 10 years, like anywhere in that realm, basically. So he, he historically tends to be quite vague. Like he's hard to pin down on exactly what he means by things and when exactly he thinks things are going to happen or why he thinks things are happening the way they're happening. Um, he, he, more than most, he speaks in pretty broad generalities and he's hard to drill into specifics. So I, I found, I, I always listen to what Dario has to say. Um, but I think he often presents these outlandish scenarios and then basically says like, I have no idea what it means. Like it, 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 that's, his, that's his general answer is like, we don't know. Okay. Why are you accelerating? If you're so worried about this, why are you accelerating development? Well, we like, we think, you know, it can be good and we're going to figure it out. And we're going to build AI that figures out why, it, you know, the risks are and things like that. So, I, I, it's, it's weird. I get unsettled listening to him, I think is like mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. I, I think he's, um, I think Anthropic is probably making breakthroughs. I, like I said, on episode 132, I think they're holding back right now for whatever the reasons, maybe it's a safety thing. Maybe it's, um, training run didn't work exactly how they wanted it to, but I think they have way more than they're saying they do, um, or that they're currently sharing with us. But I find interviews with him unsettling because he never seems to have answers to like, what does this mean? Um, and he more than most people throws caution to the dangers of what they're doing and never has the answer to like what we're going to do about it. Other than when we see the risk has emerged, we will solve for it. And so I don't know, like I listened to a couple interviews with him last week and it, it's a lot of the same stuff, but he, you know, this 2027 timeline, you know, I, I think it's coming from something because we're now what, four months removed, three months removed from when he did the machines of loving grace thing. And, right. um, I, I just, I do think that he thinks and that others think that we are very near 
significant advancements in AI. And I, I believe that I don't know that he vocalizes it the best. Um, but I, I, I think that he thinks that this is very real. Yeah. On that note, and we've talked about it in previous episodes, you don't see a lot of the major leaders saying, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. This is slowing down a bit. No, because they're all racing for the same funding. They're yeah. all racing for the same influence. They all think that they're probably best situated to identify and solve for the risks. But I, I do, I don't know. Like, I, I almost wonder if sometime this year or next year, we don't start seeing much more collaboration between these players. Like, I, I think at some point, Altman and Amade, obviously, you know, Amade left OpenAI. I don't know how what kind of terms Sam and Dario are on these days, but Dario took 10% of the staff with him when he left in 2021. I think at some point, we we really need Demis Asabas and Dario Amade and Sam Altman or whoever the lead engineer is at OpenAI. Like, these people need to be in a room talking about the reality of what if we do get to AGI or super intelligence by 2027? Right. All, they all talk about the need for some international council to exist and some body to like figure this out. I think they need to get together and figure this out. Like they're the ones building the technology and they're just hoping someone else comes along and solves for what happens as a result of the technology that they're all building. Yeah. And, and so I, I don't know, like, I don't know if something needs to happen for, for them to then get together. I can't imagine Elon Musk wanting to get in the room with Sam and some of the other guys, but right. there's like five or six people in the world who are leading companies that are building something that they think changes society within three to five years. And they're not talking to each other that I'm aware of about what to do about that. 